I'm about to tell you something that I never told anybody ever before. Like one of the first times I um heard of you, and I think this was the very first time I've heard of you, was uh, through Fubu Snaps. Um, how many years in were you were you in comedy at that point? That was 2004, so I'd already been in six years. Okay. It came out in 05, but we filmed it in 04. I started doing stand up in '98. So by the time I did that, I had already cut my hair. What were the auditions like? Was it like, did you have a, a contact to get in there? Or? Uh, Jonathan Martin, a good friend of mine who actually I've known since kindergarten. He, he opens for me on tour. We, you know, we grew up together. He told me about it. And that's what we did. We grew up, we call it hiking, where I'm from. That's what, you know, snap and roasting. I don't know how we got the name hiking, but that's what we call it. So um, that's what we did growing up. So when he said that they had a little competition, we went to New York and, um, you know, signed our life away because they only, they only paid him who won. He won the whole thing. Okay. Nobody else got paid for that shit. How much did he get paid? He got like 5000 okay. You know, Damon John, FUBU, he, was, he, he knew what he was doing. FUBU had already burned out pretty much. He was another opportunity to make him a couple quick dollars. And not really, you don't think it was like genuinely trying to invest in the talent? It was more so like a marketing opportunity? I don't know, because it ain't like he tried to provide opportunities for us after that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jonathan won, ain't like he took him on some type of tour. It was like, you know, a bunch of niggas that was like, yeah, we probably sitting around like, yeah, we should, you know, make a video of uh, niggas roasting on each other. But this shit had been done several times already. You know, they did it on Uptown Comedy Club, uh, and they had the show Snaps on HBO. This shit wasn't nothing new. Um, but it was just like a, it was a, a dope, it was a dope competition. It was funny. Right. And, and one part, part that I specifically remember mm-hmm. is you went up against this young woman, and you end up going so hard. I don't know how many rounds were happening before that. But you end up going so hard, you made her like cry, right. and and that was like real. Did she really cry? I'm, a, I'm about to tell you something that I never told anybody ever before okay. about this because people still I mean, hit me up on on social media. Yeah, I, I still remember you from that Fubu shit. You made the girl cry, and you know people still send me the video. I've never told nobody this before. This is the whole truth about that. When I was going in on her. She just got quiet, and then, you know, she started kind of making a face, and I, and so I stopped. I looked at them. I was like, they was like, keep going, keep going. So I was like, I right, you know, and they edited it so you don't see me do that. And so I, I kept going, and then she started crying. I'm like, are you fucking serious? Like, the, <laughs> what the fuck is this? So when we was done, they told me that they told her to fake cry. I know, I know I just let a lot of people down, but so it was on my heart that I had to tell the truth about this shit. That's deep. I have made some motherfuckers cry before, but I did not make that girl cry. She did a good job of acting, and, uh, you know, when it was happening, I didn't know she was faking it. Right. I was about to ask, like, did you know? Oh, that's why you gave that reaction. Right. Right. I didn't know she was faking. They told me after, it's like... You know, they told her to fake cry. So I put it out there. I told her. What made you like, what made you want to just get that off now? That's like, I feel like this is kind of like historical in a sense. Like you feel cheated now? <laughs> no, 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 no. Like the fact, I appreciate you keeping a thousand on that. But like what kind of, it's just been kind of lingering. It's just like. Yo, it's kind of like just, a, I don't know. It's like, um. It's like being on stage and you bombing and then you pull somebody joke out and then you get laughed or you or you steal a joke knowing that it ain't yours. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I just felt like, I don't know. I, I kind of, I didn't want to, only reason I didn't want to tell the truth about her faking the crying is because I know it's that much funnier to the people that are watching it. Yeah. Think like, wow, she really cried. So that's the only reason I never so told her. So you kind of kept it cool and like let people assume what they wanted. Right. That's fair. That makes that makes sense. Cause like, yeah, it is like it's like when you um. I think some of these reality shows we we learn later that they're fake. Right. Remember when reality shows first came out? We weren't low key hip to the game. We like oh, and then you start learning about it. So right. 
I definitely understand that. Part. Yeah, so I I don't want to take I don't want to take uh res- credit for that last extra laugh that I really didn't deserve. I mean, everything I said to her, I was killing her. I was roasting the shit out of her, but the crying part, she faked that. 